everyone. Welcome back. Hi everyone. Today we're going to be doing a very easy pizza. It's going to be vegan and we're going to be starting with the crust. That's right. So we'll take you through the, all the ingredients first and then we will show you how we make it and then we will show you the toppings that we use on top of the vegan pizza. So for this recipe, uh, we're going to be using one cup of chickpea flour, one cup of sorghum flour, half a cup of tapioca starch, minced onion, sea salt, garlic powder and wild oregano. We're also going to use half a cup of nutritional yeast. We're going to use a quarter cup of psyllium husk and two tablespoons of flaxseed meal as well as two teaspoons of baking powder. And the final ingredient is water. We're going to be using two cups of water. We have set up our bowl and uh, we're going to start mixing all the dry ingredients first and then we will proceed with the water to mix everything together. So we are going to to place in a bowl the one cup of uh, chickpea flour one cup of sorghum flour right here tapioca starch which is half a cup half a cup of nutritional yeast a quarter of a cup of psyllium husk, two tablespoons of flaxseed meal, two teaspoons of baking powder, three quarters of a tablespoon of wild oregano about three quarters of a tablespoon garlic powder one teaspoon oops it's heaping teaspoon that's okay that's good this is uh, one teaspoon one heaping teaspoon of uh, minced um, onions And now the, the final dry ingredient is the salt. So a heaping, a heaping teaspoon of sea salt. If you like to add more, feel free to do that. It's okay. It depends on each other's taste. And now I'm gonna start uh, pouring the water inside the bowl and Gerald is gonna continue mixing. Looking good. It's such an easy recipe and delicious. This recipe is gluten free, lectin free, and uh, it's plant based vegan. Okay, now we are ready to place the mix on the pizza pans on top of the um, parchment paper. We have two different pans. It's going to make two pizzas, this recipe, because we like our crust thin. We don't like it thick. 
but if you like it thicker then you can maybe create one pizza and then we place Gerald placed half of it on one of the pans and now he's gonna place the rest on top of the other one and all we do now I is have a big one and a small one. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and now all we do is go ahead and spread it all over the pan like this. Or I can say the parchment paper. And if you noticed, we did not use any oil at all or any fat. So this, uh, this pizza crust is oil free. Once this is ready, we're gonna place it in the oven for 15 minutes at 400. We will take it out, turn it on the other side, and uh, then place it back in the, in the oven for another uh, 10 to 15 minutes. So we'll be checking, that's why I'm saying 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah, that's a good idea. I like yours. I like Gerald's more the way he's doing it. Pizza dough. Yeah. This is looking good. There. Very nice. Okay, our two crusts are ready to go to the oven. That's right. And then we'll be back and uh, show you. Um, uh, all the toppings that we're going to be using. So now we've just pulled our crust out of the oven and uh, it's looking really good. This is <laughs> what we have. So we're going to be putting a layer of uh, crushed tomatoes over top of that and then we're going to add some of our meat replacement that we have uh, already did a, a video for. Yeah. Um, now uh, we are also going to add some of our veggie and herb mix and that's also been on a previous video uh, we preserve it in our one quart jars in the fridge with olive oil so this has some olive oil already um, we're going to since it has no spices just a few herbs we're going to spice it up with some cayenne we'll add a bit of oregano and we'll also put a little bit of uh, minced onions and some sea salt here we go. We've uh, finished uh, putting this uh, pizza together. We have the soft mozzarella on this one uh, with the few added spices that we talked about earlier. And this is about to go in the oven. And, uh, and uh, for this one, the second pizza, we decided to add our Parmesan cheese. But uh, we already have a recipe up on our channel as well and uh, we will uh, link all the different recipes at the end of our video as well as under the, the description below. So both of these are ready to go in the oven. It's uh, preheated, like I said, at 400. Yes, that's And right. we'll be cooking those for about 15 minutes. Uh, about 10 minutes. 10 minutes 10 to, to do it? 10 to 15, it depends. Yeah, yeah we'll check them. this one's pretty thick, so I think it'll need a little bit extra. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I agree with you. Our pizzas are now ready, and uh, Gerald is uh, cutting our pizza with uh, mozzarella cheese. It smells really, really good, and I can't wait to try it. Wow. So two little pizzas. Amazing. Here. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, I can't wait. <laughs> Every time we make pizza, I can't wait to, to, to taste it. This looks so yummy. Yes, it does. Mm. Mm. Oh wow. Mm. This is amazing. Well, it's delicious. This has been fun. We've enjoyed being with you to do this recipe. Yes, yes. 
and we're looking forward to do so many more. Thank you for joining us here today. We had so much fun making our pizzas because uh, I, I love, personally, I love pizza. How about you? <laughs> it's, it's awesome. It's a, it's a great, it's a great uh, meal. And, and as you can see, this is totally vegan, um, mm -hmm. so healthy. And, and you know, like if when we used to eat the conventional pizzas, I would feel all bloated up after I finish eating. And this does not happen with this. It's, it's yeah. light. It's, it's easy to digest. And uh, you can really feel a difference. And it's, yeah. uh, it's been pretty awesome. It feels good. Yeah. Then they're delicious. So enjoy making them. And if you have any questions, you can always uh, leave comments below. If you like this video and this recipe, give us a thumbs up and, cl <laughs> and uh, click the subscribe button below. That way you don't miss any of our future um, recipes. Love and blessings. Love and blessings to everyone. Okay, bye for now. Thank you for joining us. Bye for now.